Hi, I'm Heidi Borchers. Have you seen all these really cute little rolls of ribbon and all the wonderful patterns that, they, that ribbon comes in? I have a really cool idea to show you. It's so easy and simple to do. I'm using the Aline's Original Tacky Glue in the Gold Bottle. It dries clear. It works perfect for the ribbon. I love it because it sets up really quickly. I picked this frame because it had so much space for me to work on and it's really cool because it has the glass and it also has a stand or it has a little hook that you can hang it from. And first thing I do is just start to decide where I want pieces and I will just kind of lay them out a little bit the way I want them first. Now if you want to pre-paint the frame first you can. If you don't pre-paint it, then you have to make sure you put all your pieces pretty close together so you can't see the wood. I found this really cool one too that's kind of like nails. So I'm kind of getting the idea of what I want. And so what I'm going to do is to cut, cut a couple pieces here, the size that I want. And then we're ready to start gluing. Really good tip is keep your glue upside down in like a, um, a jar or container and that way it's always ready to use. Ready to put on the next piece. Now this piece is a little bit thinner of a, a ribbon. Be sure you always test your ribbon to make sure that the glue is not going to soak through. I also will keep my cap off my bottle for a couple hours to make the glue a little bit thicker. You just want to make sure that it doesn't mar the, the ribbon. Another little trick here is when you get it on and see it has a little bit of a, maybe a ripple in it, just pull it from both ends. Make sure it's tight together. Now you also can use scrapbooking paper and I just cut pieces on a little paper cutter I have. Make sure you just put the glue, I put it right on the paper for the, the paper, the scrapbooking paper because it tends to, you don't put a lot of it either, just a little bit because it will curl a little bit. Put it up snug. And then when it's completely dry, if you have a little excess, you can cut it with scissors or you can use like a um, sharp craft knife. Here's a close-up look of the paint. I painted this one silver first and you can see how the, the edges are nicely covered. Just wanted to show you the finished piece because I did do some things on top of things. I cut this one apart and glued it on top. Now I also wanted to remind you that if you wanted to, I had like a pin. You know, this would be a really cool little trim to just glue that on. Got that at like a secondhand store. Found this also that uh, would be really cool there. So if you want to put something else on, you can glue it on using the Aline's Tacky Glue. The Aline's Original Tacky Glue in the Gold Bottle is available at Michael's. It's terrifically tacky and creatively cool.